In 1972, a French scientist locked himself in a pitch black cave 440 feet underground for 180 days. No light, no time, no human contact. He wanted to uncover the secrets of the human mind, and what he found was literally time-bending. Michel Sefra was a geologist and researcher obsessed with understanding human biology in extreme conditions. He believed the key to unlocking the human mind lay in its relationship with time. To test this, he devised a radical experiment. Sifri volunteered to live completely isolated in a cave. Without clock sunlight, a way to track time, he wanted to find out. How the brain reacts to total isolation. What happens when you're cut off from natural cycles? The world thought he was insane. At first, Sifra tried to maintain a routine. He followed hunger and fatigue to decide when to eat and sleep. But without light or clocks, his sense of time began to distort. Hours felt like minutes. Days blurred together, Sifra's mental state deteriorated quickly. He hallucinated shadows and voices. He became paranoid, convinced someone else was in the cave. His thoughts spiraled into chaos. The isolation was breaking his mind. The results? Sifra was completely disconnected from reality. By month two, he believed 24 hours had passed when it had been nearly 48. His internal clock had slowed drastically. His body created a new rhythm. 36 hours awake, 12 hours asleep. This shocked scientists. Humans evolved to follow the 24-hour circadian rhythm set by sunlight. But without light, Sifra's body invented its own clock independent of the sun. It was proof that the human brain has a built-in time system. But there was a darker discovery. As weeks turned into months, his mental state worsened. He forgot words mid-sentence. He struggled to remember basic facts. His emotions swung wildly between joy and despair. Isolation was rewriting his brain. Sifri later described the experience as a slow slide into madness. He talked to insects for company. He found comfort in his own voice, but silence always returned, crushing and relentless. After 180 days, Sifri was pulled out of the cave. To him, only 151 days had passed. He was stunned to learn how much time he'd lost. Without external cues, the brain loses its grip on time. Sifra's experiment revealed, time isn't just external, it's something the mind actively creates. Isolation and sensory deprivation warped this ability, causing disorientation. His findings transformed our understanding of time perception. They led to breakthroughs in circadian rhythm research, space exploration, astronaut isolation, mental health in solitary confinement. But the cost was high. He suffered permanent memory loss. His mental health took years to recover. He described the cave as an endless night that haunted him for decades. He paid a steep price for his discoveries. His work laid the foundation for modern sleep science and time psychology. But the questions he raised remain. What is time, really? Is it a construct of the external world or something created by the mind? Sifre's experiments showed that time is both and that the mind holds the ultimate power to shape it. The mind is a universe of its own. Michelle Sifro.